musical instrument you're listening to now is an electrically amplified harmonica played by one of this country's most exciting blues performers. Let's meet him now. What is your name, please? My name is Paul Butterfield. My name is Paul Butterfield. My name is Paul Butterfield. Only one of these young men is the real Paul Butterfield. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Peggy Cass, Orson Bean, and Kitty Carlisle on Tell Truth. To Tell the Truth is brought to you this evening by Anison, the headache tablet to relieve pain. So relax tension, calm nerves. Listen. And now here's your host on To Tell the Truth, Bud Collier. Welcome again to the Tell the Truth. Good evening, panel. Good evening, Good evening, evening Bud. Ah, you're looking fun. There came Tom at the tag end, where he seldom is, believe me. All right. In front of you, you'll find an envelope. Open it up. It's marked number one, and follow along with a story which you have not as yet seen. I, Paul Butterfield, am a singer and musician. I started my musical education at the age of eight by studying the classical flute. I eventually found the flute unable for the kind of music which I grew to like best, blues. I took up the harmonica. By cupping a microphone in my hands as I play, the sound of the instrument is electrically amplified. In this way, I can create a variety of tonal effects, making the harmonica sound like a soprano saxophone. With my musical group, I have played and sung at clubs and in concert around the country. The music critic for the New York Times said that my harmonica effects are without parallel in blues or jazz. Signed, Paul Butterfield. <laughs> These three young men all claim to be Paul Butterfield. Let's start the questioning with Orson Bean. Orson? Thank you. Number three, uh, Bob Dylan changed his music to what? what? What is his music, kind of music now called, Dylan's? Well, it's called a lot of things now, really. Yeah, well, isn't there, isn't there a, a name for it, though? Besides Dylanism? Yeah. Oh, well, I really wouldn't know. What All right, number one, uh, uh, what is that thing called Dylan uses to keep that harmonica up around his neck? I think it's just called the harmonica rack. The harmonica rack, that's not a bad name. Number two, do you know the uh, nightclub called Folk City? Sure, Gertie's Folk City. Gertie's Folk City, all right. Number, number two, there's a, there, there's a number of jug bands. Do you happen to know the one that comes from Boston? Uh, Quest, not really from Boston. Though. All right. Jim Quest. Num- Jim Quest. All right. Uh, number... no. Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> uh, number three, who is Larry Adler? Who is Larry Adler? Uh, he's a um, uh, public relations man, I believe. Thank you. Number two, um, what do you call a man who plays a flute? Flautist. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, number one, there's, a, there's an opera called The Magic Flute. Who wrote that? Uh, I really couldn't remember. Do you know number two? I believe it's Chuck Elsie, I'm not sure. Thank you. Uh, number three, there's another great harmonica player who had a, a whole group that, that he went with him for many years. Johnny Pula and the Monocats? Thank you. Uh, there are, well... Tom Poston. This shows his age. Isn't that funny? Uh, who, but he's great anyway. But number uh, one, are you related to uh, the great trumpet man, Butterfield? No, I'm not. Do you know him, number two? Billy Butterfield, yes. No relation? No relation. Thank you. Number three, how come you don't play a, a soprano sax if you make a noises that sound like one? Well, I find I get a better sound out of the harmonica. Well, I happen to dig the sound very much. Number two, uh, do you know a, a blues guitarist from uh, Houston? A uh, Negro uh, blues guitarist from Houston? Great, uh, great talent. Do you happen to remember him? Um, uh, if you mean Andy Flugman, I'm not sure. Well, he wasn't the one I had in mind, but I'm sure He's there's more than one. Peggy Cat. Hey, number three, just for the record, do you know who wrote the Magic Flute? Uh, the Matrix. Thank you. Uh, number one, how many holes in a harmonica? Well, it depends what harmonica. There's a lot of different kinds of harmonica. Some have 10, some have 15, some have 20. Thank you. Number two, what are the instruments in the modern jazz quartet? MJQ? Yes. They have sax. They have clarinet. I don't know. 
Okay. I'm really not familiar with the jazz. All right. Num uh, number three, uh, who is the music critic for the New York Times? Uh, Robert Sheldon. Thank you. Number one, four That's minute it. Time for you now ah, to mark well. your ballot. <laughs> so, mark them at once on the information you have gleaned and mark them correctly if you can. Vote for oh, number boy. one, number two, or number three. And, of course, our team of challengers will receive $250 for every incorrect vote. Ballots all marked, panel? Oh, yes, they are. All right, Tom, for whom did you vote? Uh, I, had a, a, I had my reasons for not voting for number two, which I won't go into, but I figured any harmonica has got to know who Larry Adler is. And uh, I, I thought that maybe he should know who wrote the magic food if he started out as a flautist. So I voted for number two. Peggy Cat. But none of them knew that Mozart broke the magic food, so that's no fair. But number two was very cool. He said MJQ and all that stuff, but I thought he was putting me on. I voted for one. He sounded honest when he said it was a harmonica rack. <laughs> Orson B. Well, uh, number three didn't know that Dylan uh, uh, coined the phrase folk rock. And number two put me off when he volunteered MJQ for... Uh, not a jazz quartet because right, he was yeah he was giving us too much information but it still could be number two I am an expert in the harmonica I can like you to play a uh, a colander <laughs> covered with saran wrap it's an unusual <laughs> Kitty Carlisle I voted for number two um, I think that number two probably is the one uh, because he pronounced it floated which I think it is and uh, indeed he said flowers yes. Yes, yes. Oh, dear. Well, there we go again. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there it is. The votes are all in and the minds are solidly made up. Norman Paris and his group are playing the introduction of Born in Chicago, which Paul Butterfield is going to play and sing for us now. So, will the real Paul Butterfield please give us some blues? Thank you very much. Good group to play with, too, weren't they, huh? Yeah. Well, that was great. Much continued success to you. Thank you very much. Uh, number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? My real name is Charles Zetterberg, and I'm a law student at Columbia Law School. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, what is your real name and what do you do, sir? My real name is Thomas Rideout, and I'm the sales manager for Jola Fashions. We sell wigs. <laughs> Checking the score, we find you did all right. There were two incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $500, gentlemen, for you to divide. And I sincere thanks to you and hope this made an evening out a happy one for you. Good night, and God bless you. Mm -hmm.